the drawing of the dog is super cute. The details in the condiments on the top, very cool. But your contrast in here gets a little bit muted. So as far as a clean tattoo, you definitely hit it. As far as new school, it's more of a miss. tattoo your canvases with the design of their choice, and the power is in their hands. God damn it. I'm sick of having our future in the canvases' hands. Their ideas are just all nuts. What do you, what color do you want to do the tops of the castle? So I think that periwinkle. Knowing that we got hit so hard on the first one, we need this win. As much as it pains me to not tattoo, I would rather just be golden. I don't need to prove myself. My strategy is to win with good tattoos. If that means DJ takes the lead on this one, I'm actually happy to hand over the lead. That looks awesome, dude. Reputation is everything. To succeed as a shop, your work must be all the self-promotion you need. Let's see how you did. Let's start with Old Town Inc. This take on the frame is super cool. It's very clean and meticulous, and all of the pieces of the frame fit perfectly. The jewel's beautiful. It has a rich, dark cobalt contrast against the yellow with the black in it. For that princess feel, this really captures it. You know, the whole thing's whimsical, and it looks good. Ink Master, you must be able to tattoo anything that is thrown at you, no matter who designs it. Oh, shit. Ooh. So today, the men will design for the women. <laughs> shit. And the women will design for the men. These girls are going to be ruthless with us. Each of you must create a line drawing. Each artist will then choose a line drawing designed by the opposite sex to tattoo. Oh, damn. There is no limit to the number of times a design can be chosen. Oh. Strategy is crucial, because this is your chance to take out a member of the opposite sex. It's going to be interesting. I'm between uh, sandwich and robot. I really want to do the sandwich, but then they're going to compare ours. I've never done a robot, so I don't even know how to do it. And I think I could pay this tattoo some respect. Definitely going to take Laura's tattoo. I think that's a good choice. I just hope you don't get yourself in a pickle. Man, can I like, pick your brain? I shouldn't even be helping you. I know, but you, you want me to do cool tattoos. Yes, I do. To, I want you to, to do, do justice your... to my little robot. That's, and that's my goal here. I'm like debating like doing the trim, like these and like the joints and the eyes all in a different tone metal. You could also do rust. Oh man, that's a cool idea. Oh, of course you picked the robot, yeah. Of course I did, man. Who else is gonna pick this tattoo? I see nobody took my tattoo. Nope. I got the choice between party bot. And, oh, no, uh, I would have chose this one. Yeah, right. yeah, no, I don't blame you. Today, you had to prove your adaptability by tattooing a line drawing designed by the opposing team. But your battle to stay in this competition isn't over yet. Oh, my God. In this war, you never know when karma might come back to bite you. I don't know why I feel so scared. You designed a line drawing to take out a member of the opposite sex. But hopefully you didn't dish out more than you can handle. Because each of you must tattoo your own line drawing. Oh, oh. thank oh. Jesus. You'll have six hours to tattoo. Your canvases have been randomly assigned. And based on both of your tattoos, one of you will be eliminated. So we don't even get a critique yet. What a twist. Oh, oh my god, it looks so good. Oh, I love them. I love them too. I already told Jason what I would do with my own design. Now I have to tattoo my own design differently from how I would tattoo it. I can't wait till they like put them next to each other. I don't really want to see them side by side. This week, you had to demonstrate adaptability, tattooing another artist's line drawing and your own design. Jason. Jason, you tattooed Laura's design. You do a great tattoo here. And to take it from that weathered look and then go into the clean hat, which clearly has not been with it its entire life, is a nice touch of detail. Again, you hit it out of the park in your execution. You're competing. Thanks, guys. Wow. Laura. This thing is the best. The style and execution that you have here and the way that you understand how to capture chrome is great. What I get excited about is real soul and real coolness to tattooing. The thing looks amazing. If you choose Creepy Jason, you will not hurt my feelings whatsoever. Thank God I don't have to choose, so they both win. Wow. To survive the first elimination, you must tattoo whatever your canvas wants. Dude. But that is not all. What? Your canvases are very familiar with this competition. 
because they've all been tattooed on past seasons of Ink Master. Wow. God damn. That sucks. That means they know exactly what they want and what they don't want. That's crazy, man. Ow. Again? This is crazy. She's twitching, she's moving. I feel like I'm in the back of a pickup truck trying to do this tattoo right now. Ow. Stop. There is no way I'm gonna let this bitch be the reason I'm going home. Today, nine of you needed to prove your overall ability tattooing your canvases with the subject and style they chose. Duffy. This is a really cute, solid tattoo. Nice, clean line work, the black shading, creating the contrast, blending out smoothly to the color, looks very solid, shows your ability to do all the necessary requirements. It came out very cute. Thank you. Most people wear their tattoos with pride, but one in seven have a tattoo they regret. Today, you must cover a tattoo in a spot that is often a source of embarrassment, a tramp stamp. I knew that damn tramp stamp fad would come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> Tramp stamps became a fad because their designs were typically small and their placement was easy to hide. However, the placement of the tramp stamp on the extreme lower back makes it a serious challenge to cover tastefully. Tattooing over already tattooed skin just makes the tattoo process that much more difficult. If an artist doesn't have good technical application, there's no point in tattooing because you're just gonna put them through unnecessary amounts of pain and see the tattoo underneath anyways. This season, the girls are kicking ass. That's great. Stick together like girl power. Nikki and Kelly are crushing it. I can't wait to see how bad the guys are up. Today, you had to show bulletproof technical application by covering a tramp stamp. Kelly. This does not look like a cover up on any level. This is my favorite tattoo from you so far. The color palette is very nice. It's laid out very well, but where you really excel in this tattoo is your technical application. Not very many people can create these shadows that well, pull off these tones that well. I think it's perfect. Your technical application is flawless in this. Today, you are being tested on creativity, tattooing difficult body parts. Team Christian, you're up first. Tim. What placement did your canvas ask for? Ass. I'm an ass man, and uh, that ain't no ass tat. That's straight up ass right there. This is my ass. Other than the placement, I love this tattoo. I love the line weight. I love the cleanliness of this tattoo. I like the use of the light blue in the tattoo to show that the horse is white. Do not <laughs> yourself out of wins by not putting things where they're assed. That's an ass. That's the front of her leg. You're an ass. That brings us to this week's elimination tattoo. Animals. Cool. In an animal tattoo, in order to create dimension, you have to have lights and darks. You have to blend it in a way that tricks the eye into thinking that it's no longer a two-dimensional canvas. For indigenous people around the world, animals have extraordinary power. Animal totems or spirit guides can be messengers and protectors. I have a lot of experience with animal tattoos. I'm feeling really confident. Animal tattoos are one of the most popular designs done in tattoo shops today. You will have six hours to tattoo an animal in any style. I finally get my hands on some black and gray realism. My technical application is the This is what I do. I'm eliminating any type of error in technique. I definitely aim to be applauded on this tattoo. This is easy. This week, we asked you to create an animal tattoo. We're testing dimension. Sebastian, so you got the raccoon <laughs> in the tree. That's what she wanted. She didn't want a raccoon climbing a tree or hanging off a tree. She wanted it actually poking his head out. I went, oh, well, The way this tattoo is done, technically, this is the kind of tattoo that is going to age well. It's going to look better when these soft grays tone out. Let's talk about dimension in this tattoo. I believe that it is coming out of a hollow tree. The top of that bark where the ears are, the way that you gave it that thickness, that really gives this tattoo that little bit of dimension that we're looking for. I would love to see you put some real hair in your repertoire to make the tattoo look cute and cuddly instead of grainy. Not that great at composing all the swoopy, swirly things. It was a raccoon. It's I got like you. grainy hairs, man. But that's the move. That's where you bust those hairs out and everybody goes, holy wow. 
Today, you had to use contrast to make vibrant stained glass tattoos. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist, and we will directly compare your work. Katie, you went head to head with Duffy. It looks heavy, it looks solid, it looks bold, it's bright, it has consistency. The color saturation and color theory you used here are strong. Duffy. This thing looks great. You nailed it on the stained glass challenge. You nailed it on the contrast. This border is very clean and very smooth. The geometric background is cool. You did a great job. If you're going straight contrast, Katie by far takes it down. Although they're both two great tattoos, I gotta go with Katie. I agree with you guys. Winner of the head to head challenge is Katie. She's just gonna make me wanna fight her a little harder next time. Taking you down, Katie. Today, there is no flash challenge. What? Careful. We are moving directly into a tattoo marathon. Marathon? Oh, shit. What the f Marathon. It never stops. Here we go. In each round of the marathon, you must impress us with creative tattoos that prove you have what it takes to get to the end. All right. Creativity in tattooing is what gives it that wow factor. If you don't have creativity, then you're not going to stand out in a crowd of tattooers. For the first round, you can tattoo any style or subject you want. I like that. I'm down with that. But. That's always a but. You must collaborate with your team. Oh, I was oh, about God. to get real. God damn. Each team will create one tattoo on one human canvas. One canvas, one tattoo. With everything that's been going on, collaboration is the furthest thing from my mind. It's like bad sushi on a Tuesday. You just don't want it. So I just need your machine. We're okay. going to blend a little bit Come of gray out that way, yeah, yeah. and a little gray up, and then leave a highway in the center. Yeah. Patrick's got me worried. I'm going to tag team this tattoo. I want to make sure that we get all the rest of the colors in there. we we'll knock the sun out. I'm almost done with the sun. Today, you are being tested on your creativity with a team collaboration tattoo. Let's see how you did. South, let's have a look. Man, the way this tattoo came out, super smooth. The black saturation is really nice. I really like the soft details you put in the hat with the slight wash underlines. See the way that this tattoo looks glossy. When it comes to color, that's the look. It's beautiful, man. It's a nice, strong tattoo. No Thank you, guys. Thank you. For today's challenge, you must tattoo Neo Traditional Animals. Dope. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm scared. <laughs> I love animals. They're so cute. Neo-traditional, I'm just gonna jump off a bridge. We're gonna talk place now. So I'm thinking it might be better somewhere else. Only because we only have six hours and it's color. So I'm just a little worried about finishing it. I'm down to do ribs if it's something you're like set set on. I mean, I was thinking like, if not ribs, then like my back. Your back? Area. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you doing over here? Good. Just trying to like block colors in. That's all it is. Big blocky solid tattoo. I hate color. I've always seen things in black and gray. This is my mixer for all the blues. That's my mixer. Never mix with white. You're going to grab a tan, something that's light that can get you to a lighter tone, and you mix that. I taught myself, so I don't really know anything. I work by myself, so it's not like I really have the chance to learn. I want to be able to let go of all of the shit in my head, and I just want to have fun. I want to do a good tattoo. It's just hard. Watch you're not wiping too hard over that line work. OK. Today, you had to demonstrate contrast by tattooing a neo-traditional animal. Women's team, you're up first. Let's start with Ash. These tattoos need a heavy outline. They stand alone. You don't have a strong outline. Your blue isn't solid. And please, for the love of God, what is that red? Yeah, I probably told her to do the red. I just told her to whip red from corners. It's not that. It's the way the red looks. You just don't put in solid color. This is my first time doing it. Not that that's an excuse. Don't abandon the things that you can do because somebody changed the name of what you're doing. You know what you're always doing? Tattooing. Yeah. So just tattoo. For this grudge match, you will face off, tattooing not one, not two, but four one-hour tattoos. Four one-hour tattoos? There is no room for second guessing. You need to make sure every time you touch the needle to the skin that it is in the exact spot you need it to be, and you need to make sure that it sticks. These are small, efficient tattoos. These are actually the toughest tattoos in the business to do. That's right. Street Shop 101, man. Plenty of time, playing. These dudes are going to look tough as f 
with some strawberries blasted on them. You have one hour to tattoo a realistic strawberry, and your time starts now. I knew he was gonna do that. What, cut it now? <laughs> Clean, cut the strawberry in half to kind of bypass all the little seeds. Smart, you gotta admit. I'm not gonna admit it. <laughs> The hardest part of color realism is that it's so precise and detailed. Do you want like the avocado color for that? No. See what I'm doing right here? Yeah, you're making a bright ass lime green. I'm a fast tattooer, but Christian's definitely gonna struggle on this tattoo because time is gonna kill him. Three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. Well, there's that. Christian seems pissed. Yeah, he knows. His team knows too. Okay, it is time to critique your work. Clean. It's a really smart play. Cutting in half the strawberry show in the inner detail looks really nice. The light parts of the strawberry spread out through the redness on the inside, give it a little life. I mean, I like both, but it's hard to deny that there's so much more detail in cleans. I gotta go with clean. I do like cleans. Clean. The winner of this face-off is clean. Yeah. Good job, clean. Yeah, clean.